Hola, buenos dias. Hello and good morning. We are walking today from Palas de Rey to Malide, which is only a half stage. Wait, but Brian, what's the stage? What's the stage? What's a stage? Oh, what does a that stage. Mean? Well, that means if you're following a guidebook, it probably gives you stages. There's probably 35 of them. Uh, John Briarley's book has 35 walking days. Unless you're walking Soria de Santiago, then you have, I think, four or five stages. Six stages, stages you maybe. You can buy guidebooks that do just the segment that you're walking. So we are walking a half stage today to Malide. Um, it's a great little city. And 15K, it is known for its pulpo, so I know what I'm having for dinner tonight, octopus. <laughs> I know what I'm having for dinner, not octopus. That's <laughs> not my thing. I'll eat a lot of seafood. It's just not my thing. I like it here better than the States, but. We've got a 100% chance of rain this morning, but it's not raining, so we'll see what happens. But that's why we're wearing our raincoats. We're just prepared for anything. Um, leaving Palastere, they have a beautiful little civic garden here. Well, I mean very little, but it's got a cross of St. James and the city's coat of arms. into Malid Malide. With, Malide with our posse behind us. With our posse behind us. Woo posse. Woo. <laughs> we uh this is our, it for today. We walked 15 kilometers, we had a little rain. A we looked lot a little, of stopping. A little rough. Hey we've only had a few stops. We've gotten a wax stamp today. That was very cool. We're saying goodbye again to Brandon. We like long goodbyes with Brandon. So but for now I think it's gin tonic e cerveza time. Pulpo. Welcome Hola. to the number one of the world. Oh, wow. Come here, give me a hand and try it. Come here. It's the special one. It's the special oh. one. Come here, please. Come on, try it. Wow, that boy that is, the is, is amazing. It's amazing. Come here. Mm -hmm. oh. If you don't like, I give you a next one. Come on. Thank you. So the rest of the dinner includes some potatoes, some peppers, some cheese, and, some cheese. and uh, that's dinner, community style. Of course, there's wine. There might be a bit more wine. Um, there's usually the potatoes. Chorizo coming stuff. I'm sorry. There's what? We have chorizo coming. In. Okay. It's a night of food. And mm. the kaios, it's that good. It's a soup. We are in Pension Arroyos. Um, yeah, the reception is up on the first floor, which is where our room a, is. It's a basic accommodation, but it has air conditioning, which we're always looking for. When you go into a city, you want to be able to close the windows to close out the noise and have that air conditioning still have your airflow. The downside is we have to do our, because it's not an outer day, they don't have a place to do laundry. We've got a one bed, I think. We have one pillow or two. It's one, I can tell. Oh, we have one pillow. So if you are a person who doesn't like to share your pillow. If you're a pillow hog. If you're a person who does not like to share your pillow, make sure you get two bed, single beds. You can always push them together. The bathroom is pretty small. The shower is quite small, actually. But 
you know, we'll make it work. The sink to do laundry is actually going to be the hardest thing. I'm going to be doing it in small batches. Hola, buenos dias. Hello and good morning. We are walking today from Melide, just past the end of the stage, which is Ribadiso, to Arthua. Which is, I think, where most people go. I um, don't really, I don't think I've met anybody who's going just to Ribadiso. But it is a split stage for us, according to the guidebook we're using. However, we heard of people using a guidebook that didn't have this as a split stage. So who knows? Who knows? Uh, we have about 15 kilometers, maybe just a hair under. Um, today we are going to walk over the last medieval bridge of the Camino before Santiago. And uh, we're just getting close. We are. We got today and two more walking days. And there's Woo! always a hill. Vamos. Let's go. Yeah. So she has fresh fruit and fresh berries. The berries that she's selling are from her field right here. And they've walked, they've walked four Caminos. She also has cheese that she makes fresh from her cows and quince paste on it that she made herself from her own trees. They're the Quino Oasis, which is just after Melide, about five kilometers. staying at this 1930 boutique hotel. The price tag says it's bougie, but I'll be the judge of that. Can't figure out how to get in. It's open, just push. Hello. Wow, beautiful, hello. We could take the stairs up to room, or we could use this really fancy lift. We are in room Triana. The rooms have names, not numbers. Holy schmoly. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's gonna be a anywhere. Vegas showgirl tonight. <laughs> so. Um, and she'll probably deconstruct that uh, tassels on the pillow and the curtain and make a, a gown. <laughs> that, that, that gown is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. I love it. Um, I think we should. Well, oh, and there's our suitcase waiting for us here in the room. Well, you show the that and open. We have a decent bathroom. Okay. There's no view. There's no not view. Not really any view. But. But there is. We just learned a garden with a pool. So uh, I think it's time to go find some dinner. You know, for this much money, though, they could have at least provided us a few umbrellas. I mean. If I'm gonna do a bougie Camino, I need an umbrella or two. And, and you know what else I need? I need a pool boy to bring me cocktails. We asked 100 married women. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool boy. I need a pool boy to bring me cocktails. I'm explaining what I need. No. I was. Oh, this is the on. only reason we're but staying here. 
We would have done, we would have done a shared bathroom. But instead, I get this. I mean, okay, if I have to have a pool. The hotel does have this lovely garden. Right now, half of it is closed off because they're working on landscaping. Looks like putting in a walkway. So there's a little bit going on, but it is still beautiful. Have an old Horeo out here. Um, a walled garden though, quite beautiful. Um, this is part of, I think, what's going to become an event center or something. Possibly part of the in-house restaurant. But quite lovely. It is lovely. There's also a beautiful little terrace out here to sit at. The bar opens at 4 p.m. And there's a restaurant on site and they have a restaurant that's about two blocks away that you can also utilize. Oh, oh there's a Dom Perignon. See? Nothing says bougie like Dom Perignon. Oh.